Welcome back. This is video number three on how to put your crampons on your boots. So there are multiple styles of crampons. The ones I will be showing you today are strap-on crampons from Petzl. So this is my crampon holder. It's just a simple lightweight bag. I put a little extra padding on the bottom just to protect uh, the supplies I have in my backpack um, from the crampon teeth, the sharp edges of the crampon. Um, how I store my crampons, I put the two sharp ends, the teeth together, and I put them close together, and then I take the straps and wrap them around the crampons. I do this to more than anything to protect, again, the things in my backpack from being punctured um, by the sharp ends. So if we take a look at the crampons, there's a few components on here that are pretty important. Um, the first one would be the size bar. If you look inside here, there's, there's two ends, the toe and the heel, and then this in the middle is called the size bar. And the, on all crampons, the size bar are going to have a slight curve to them. Some of them might even have a word on there saying right or left, but if not, um, the curvature of the size bar uh, will match the curvature of your foot. Um, so it'll curve inward. Another way, if you're not sure which uh, boot the crampon goes on, is the strap with the rings are always going to be on the outside. All right, there's also a lever. Um, so the size bar, not only does it have the curve, but it also has additional holes in there. And you have a little lever right here that you can lift up and change the size of your crampon to match the size of your boot. So we have our strap we're gonna get out of the way. We're gonna take the two ends of the crampon and open them up, push them outward, and then we will grab the boot. So mountaineering boot, it'll fit right in. You want it to be able to click down inside of the crampon. And then you're gonna take the two end straps and I like to push them up just to kind of have them curve around. If it doesn't fit nice and solid to the point where you can lift your boot, shake it and you don't hear any um, mechanisms moving, then you know it's tight enough. If it's not, if, it, if your boot does not click in to the down bars or if it wiggles, you're gonna need, you are going to need to adjust again the size bar by lifting that tab and, and moving it. It's better to figure that out now than up on the trail in the dark. All right, so now we have our boot, it's in our crampon, and now we wanna take this strap and ultimately strap the crampon to our boot. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that there's no twists in the strap, and we're going to take it, whoop, make sure there's no twists, and I'm going to go underneath this triangle right here. Notice that as I'm showing you, my crampon is not sitting on my countertop. It's sitting on a butcher block because um, I don't want to damage anything. So if you put these on, I would not recommend putting them on your hardwood floor or vinyl. Um, put them on outside in the grass and then you can walk around and aerate your grass while you test them out. Not inside. All right, so we're going to make sure there's no twists and turns in our strap. We're going to go inside this little uh, triangle hole from underneath. We're gonna pull it straight down. And once it's through there, feels nice and tight, I'm going to flip it back up in this direction and bring it to the other side. On the other side, I have another hole here. So again, no twists in my strap we are going to thread it through from underneath, thread it through the other side of the, of the crampon. Now I'm going to keep it nice and tight, pull it again. And this time I'm going to go around my boot, up and around and back over. 
Now, again, you don't want any twists, no turns, and you do want to keep it fairly tight uh, because you don't want any chance of this moving around. Once we get back over, you're going to see um, two rings on the side of your strap-on crampons. You're going to take your original strap and go through the two rings, pull it nice and tight, and you're going to go back through just the second ring, which is generally gonna be a little longer and usually have a tab or something that you can pull on. So you're gonna go back through and pull it nice and tight. All right, so this is the setup. Once it's on, I like to give it a few extra tugs. I will also push down on, on this middle strap and pull it nice and tight until it feels nice and snug on my boot. And that is how you put your crampon on. To take it off, all you simply do is take this tab or the second uh, ring and give it a nice tug and it will loosen it up and you can pull your boot out. That is how to put strap-on crampons on your boots.